First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many first alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Andrew from First Capital RA3D, uh, and we're going to do a quick demonstration of how uh, using a PID loop on your shooter not only helps with uh, it recovering after shooting ball, but also getting up to speed quicker. Um, so here we have a graph of um, our set point, um, and this red line at the bottom here is what the current velocity of the wheel is. Um, so we're going to spin up the shooter. You can see we quickly get up to our set point in a small amount of oscillation, but that's okay for a quick tuning session. Um, power down. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just compare this with if we didn't have any uh, feedback control, just feed forward. Um, so this is essentially open loop if you would just say, like, run the motor at 80% uh, speed. Uh, this is what the spin up time would look like. Um, we are just going to undershoot a little bit here because the feed forward term isn't tuned that aggressively. Um, the stay state error is corrected uh, by the control loop anyway, but you can see the, uh, the actual time to get to that uh, is a little bit longer because during this time the control loop is just trying as hard as it can to get it up to speed. Um, so uh, just doing some uh, simple uh, Feed forward plus P or P and D loop uh, can greatly increase your shooter performance. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe.